She was trusted with caring for a couple's 11 month old son, but now a 53 year old Florida woman is behind bars allegedly for physically abusing him. The shocking case of abuse was discovered through hidden camera video after the parents noticed the baby had a black eye. Now we're showing you just a few seconds of the video because it is absolutely it's one of the most disturbing things you'll see. And this is not even the worst of it. You can see the video below. Joining me now to talk about the history and the warning signs in these kinds of abuse cases is Adrian Cole White. She's a licensed private investigator and founder of Seeking Sitters and is in Tulsa, Oklahoma for this this morning. Ms. Cole White, thank you for joining us. We Good appreciate morning. it. When you saw this Good video, morning. I mean, I, I, I was absolutely appalled. Your thoughts when you saw this? I was shocked too. I'm a mother of three young children and it was almost too much to watch. Um, and also, I'm a licensed private investigator and a founder of a babysitting service, so my first reaction was how sad for this family that this had to happen when necessary precautions could have been taken care of to av avoid the situation. All right, well, I mean, they had references, apparently, and this, this nanny was referred by the local church. What more do parents need to do to make sure that the person caring for their children does not do something like this or does not have previous incidents where there was misconduct involved? Definitely. It's very important. I've listed numerous um, things that parents can look for on my website, but I, the main three things that you want to look at is background screening, experience level, and check your references. First of all, your background screening, make sure you're using a reputable background screening company. A lot of online checks are providing missed information as well as out-of-date information. They're not checking every state where a, a child care worker has lived. You're going to check experience and level of desire of that child care worker in the home. Make sure they're there for the right reasons and then also check references be diligent about checking multiple references make sure that they have that experience and have had great past experiences in other families well the, the mugshot we were showing you on your screen at home a few moments ago is that janine campbell the 53 year old woman uh, from jacksonville florida who was on the the home videotape caught abusing this little 11 month old baby um, let me ask you this if parents are so concerned that they need to install a video camera to try and catch a nanny in the act does that gut feeling tell you, you know what, remove the, remove the babysitter before because you're kind of setting up your kid to get hurt here in order to prove your case? Exactly. You've got to trust that gut's instinct over everything, over your screening. A parent knows when something's going on. They knew that something didn't feel right and they put up a hidden camera. And also, I'd like to say that, you know, utilize a, a camera in the home rather than catching the sitter after the act. Put it in the camera, put it in the home out in the open. Let the, the sitter know or the child care worker know that there's a camera in the home so that you can use it to your best ability and make the most productivity out of your child care worker. Let them know that you'll be checking in throughout the day periodically. Every sitter, contract professional sitter we bring into our service, we tell them act as if there is a camera in the home. Let me ask you this. With the exception of noticing that your, your son or daughter either has a bruise or a black eye, what are, are, are there any other warning signs? that could tip you off that there's something not right here? You know, look for different uh, changes in behavior of your children. Really listen to your children. If they're not able to talk with you, watch for those behavior patterns. And then if you are suspicious of something, talk with your child care worker in your home, not necessarily accusing them of the incident, but do go through the day's activities. Ask for them to give you a good detailed report of what's going on and set clear expectations for what you need from the child care worker. Well, Ms. Colby, thank you so much for taking the time. Seeking Sitters is your uh, your business, and uh, you're doing a great service for parents out there, and they need to enlist your services to prevent stuff like this from happening. Thank again. you. Thanks so much thank for taking for, the time. Thank we you. We do appreciate it. A lot happens early on the early show. Weekday mornings on CBS.